Afternoon, just at Seathway now at the bottom of Scarfell Pike. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a walk going up, going past Stiehead uh, Tarn, Sprinkling Tarn and over onto the top of Scarfell Pike. Weather isn't too amazing, the last couple of weeks have been absolutely boiling but it's looking like there'll be a little bit of rain but nothing that will stop me. This route starts off with a really nice stroll really along this valley. A nice river going along to the right and it's really peaceful area. Not too strenuous to start the day off. Seathwaite just down there, so cars parked just on that little road there before the campsite. We've come up this way over the hill. Here, yeah, some fighter jets going past. And we're off over in this direction, it's quite windy, so I have to peg the tent down quite hard tonight. Hope find some shelter. Now here we are at Stiehead Tarn. So there's already someone camping out over there. first tarn that we come across on this walk. Um, I'm sure on a more sunny day and especially a weekend this will be packed full of people coming up here for a bit of a walk or just a bit of a swim as well. The Stiehead stretcher box. What a brilliant idea view. Absolutely amazing. We'll be going up there and that's where we've come from down there from, from the tarn. And here we are at a sprinkling tarn. So I feel that this is going to be the stop for tonight. Although I need to do a bit of searching around for a good spot. Um, a little bit rocky in places, but have a potter about and see if you can find something. Scarfell Pike just in the background and Sprinkling Tarn behind there, behind the tent. Lovely spot. Unfortunate, someone's already had a fire here and not followed the rules of leave no trace. 
Um, but there we go. I've got a ground sheet as well down just to be extra safe. The rocks. Let's have a little look inside for what we've got. Oh, I've got my sip pad here. It's a really good for later on. Make a nice coffee sit out in the evening. Um, charger, jet boil for food. Uh, got the packet food, coffee as well, that's the most important thing. Um, down jacket, sleeping bag. That's a um, pillow. The sleeping pad. Then here I've just got the usual rubbish bag. Taking the rubbish home, some more food. Toilet trowel, first aid kit, sanitizer. What else have we got? Oh, I've got my hat, water filling system, and um, just water. That's mainly it. This is it, this is camp. And just near the tent, this nice place. Bit of shelter. Stop and have food. Beautiful. So we've got the hot water boiling and today we've got spicy pork noodles. So that'd be nice. Get that sorted. I'll save the coffee for tomorrow morning. That'd be an important start for the day. So just check out there. Chilling. I'm just waiting for the food to cook. It's about 15 minutes, and then I'll have a nice hot food to eat. But I can't beat this. That view. There's actually some people camped just in this middle island. I think they've gone up for a bit of a walk though, so I'm not alone. Not the only one here. I wonder if anyone will appear later on. God knows what's in them. Noodles, meat, vegetables. Could do with a bit of Tabasco sauce actually. Gosh, now it's a bit quieter, I can talk on the camera. So I've set up camp down by the tarn, obviously had food there, we relaxed for a bit, actually fell asleep for a moment. Um, but it's now 7pm and to be quite honest, I was a little bit bored and when Scarfell Pike Summit, it's probably only an hour away and the sun goes down at what, 20 to 10 at the moment. Thought I may as well give it a go. So here I am, about halfway from camp to the summit of Scarfell Pike. And it's so bloody warm. A bit cooler further down with the the brunt of the wind, but right now I'm in a little gully thing that's sheltered see the sun's just behind the top of that hill over there Anything. 
Hi, and that is another bottle of water filled up with the water system. Nice. Look at that. What a place to spend an evening or a night. Absolutely stunning. Just passed another through uh, another like three, four tents. And then obviously there's one near my tent. But the sun is just starting to go down now. Ah, <clears throat> oh, beautiful. Super calm now. Really, the wind's completely died down in this area. Nothing like what it was before. Lovely. Let's get back to the tent. I found it. Nice. Ah, oh, perfect. Well, do you know what? I think it's time to put on a nice hot drink and chill out, take the shoes off, if you know what I mean. Fresh water straight from. Mm. Straight from the stream. Absolutely can't beat it. Probably the best place to wild camp I've been so far. Stunning. Beautiful. I'll have to go back to Helvellyn because that was a good place. It's just at the time it was too windy for my old tent. But this thing is really super sturdy. Really sturdy. Sun's gone down now, it's quarter to 11 at night and time to get some rest. It's pretty calm outside and then a little bit of wind. Uh, really, really lovely evening. See you in the morning. Morning, so it's half four and the sun is just coming up now. Take a look at that view. So the tops of the mountain. It's all covered now in cloud. Seen some movement by the other tents. It's quarter to six now in the morning. It's, uh, it's obviously light, and now I'll head back. I think it's about an hour or so, maybe a bit longer actually, to get back. Going back down the same way that we came up.
as I come down from the mountain, it's now time for me to say thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.